Okay, in the scene we're going to import our textures and attach them to our character with an AI standard shader, which is a standard shader for Arnold. Let's go ahead and locate our source images directory. Source images. So I've got all my textures in here. I'm going to go ahead and come in here. I'm going to select the character group. We had sized this up to take it into Mudbox. I'm going to take that back down to its original size. So I just dropped a 1 in there. And he's very tiny. I'm just going to hit F on the keyboard to frame up on him. And I'm going to right mouse click. We're going to assign a new material. If you don't have the Arnold uh, material showing up under here, uh, you probably don't have Arnold showing up right here as well. If that's the case, you want to come under Windows, Settings and Preferences, Plugin Manager, open that up, and scroll down to uh, Maya to A. This is uh, Maya to Arnold. Go ahead and load those. I'm put Auto Load on there and close, and then you should see that open up. Okay, so we're just going to work with AI Standard. Uh, it's a pretty uh, robust shader that you can do a lot with, anything from skin all the way out to uh, metal. And with that on, let's come under our the attributes, AI Standard. I'm going to go ahead and name this. I'm going to call this Body. Under the Diffuse tab, I've got my color channel. And I'm going to attach a file to that. And then it's asking me for the file input. This took me out to my source images directory. And I'm looking for the diffuse body, PNG. There it is. OK, uh, let's go ahead and turn this on so we can see things a little bit better. OK, so I've got that. And let's go ahead and back up to the main level here. Under specular, I'm going to do the same thing under the color channel. I'm going to add a file. It's asking me to put the texture in there, so I'm going to look for spec body PNG. Okay. All right, so that came in, and I'm going to go back here, scroll down to bump mapping, add a file. I'm going to go ahead and take the bump depth down. I know it needs to be pretty low on mine. Uh, I'm going to put it in as 0.02. Uh, a good starting place here is usually like 0.1. My uh, bump map was a little little too problematic. I probably need to go back and kind of smooth out some areas on the back here. But for the most part, when I brought it down to this range here, it was uh, still giving me a little bit of skin bump uh, without any um, kind of problems. Okay, so I don't want to attach it here. I want to actually go over to File, the File tab, bring it in here, and I'm looking for Okay, there it is. Come back out here. We should start seeing some of the, the bump on there and the specular working. Okay. Uh, the specular is not actually on yet. Uh, the reason for that is uh, the file is in there, but you're not seeing anything actually happening because the uh, specular weight defaults at zero inside of Arnold's shader. So to bring that up, you actually start seeing some specularity. You have to turn this up. Now we're starting to see it here. Okay. So I'm going to leave mine probably right around 0.5. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead uh, and get, uh, if you have any other parts that uh, have textures on them, let's go ahead and import that by setting up another material. Clicking on Arnold, AI Standard, and I'm going to call this Horns. Okay, and then bring in the color channel through the file. And I'm looking for Horn, Diffuse. There it is, so I'll put it on both. And now the specular. map down here. I'm going to do uh, probably point 0.1 on this one. Go to File and grab the bump P 
PNG. Okay, and that should be good. And I'm going to go up to specular and bring the spec weight up. So with this one, I think I'm going to bring it all the way up to 1. That looks good. Actually, he still looks a little shiny here on the body. So I'm going to take that uh, down a little bit. So there's weight. Uh, this is the amount of specularity that's happening. And uh, it's being controlled through the map in the color channel. And then the roughness is uh, how it spreads across the surface. So if you want a really kind of tight specular to make it look wet, uh, in this case I don't, uh, but you can see the difference there. As opposed to taking it up kind of high, it spreads it out. So maybe some around seven there. And I don't like a lot of specular on my character, so I'm going to do that. All right. So that looks good. I went ahead and just added some ramp shaders on here. So these are all AI standards. And I'm just going to call these uh, nails, just so I know what's what. I've got teeth here. And all I've done is uh, run a ramp shader on these. And I think that white is a little too white. I don't like to take things all the way up to white. All right, so I'm just back off a little bit there. Maybe add a little bit of color in there. Okay, and I don't know if purple's a great color. Let's uh, maybe bring it more into the blue range. Maybe something like something like that. Okay. So that's all I did was just a uh, ramp shader on the teeth and the toes. Same thing with the eyeballs. I think I went over that already. Uh, this is just controlled by a ramp shader. And this is also a NURBS, rotated forward uh, 90 degrees. So we have uh, the ability to uh, use a U-ramp uh, interpretation here and control the shader this way. Okay. So if I can make those a little bigger, do something like that. Okay. And the closer you get them, the tighter it's going to look. Okay, so maybe something like that. All right. Okay, so he's got all his shaders on. Uh, his materials are all attached, the textures. So let's go ahead and save our scene before we start setting up and rendering. I'm going to do save scene as. Uh, I just added on the, the light tag right here, so light underscore version 1. So I'm just going to say save as. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and import our backdrop for our scene. So I'm going to come under File, Import. I'm going to go up to my Maya directory here. And I'm going to grab this three-point lighting. I'm actually not going to use the three-point lighting, though. I'm going to use uh, just the backdrop. And I'm going to grab the light rig and just blow that away. So I just want the uh, backdrop in here. Okay. And let's see what kind of shader is on here. I think we've got a blend. So I'm going to swap that out. I'm going to put a new material on. Again, AI standard, which defaults as white. And I'm just going to bring the color down like that. right around there. Uh, there's no specularity on it, so that's all good to go. Alright, 